Thanks for joining today's snapshot for the people of Dr. Martin Luther Church and other friends. At Dr. Martin Luther Church on Sunday at 1130, we will have a town hall meeting, as you know, uh, that talks about the results of the mission exploration team and their report and the mission site profile we've prepared for the Synod. Now the bishop and the bishop's assistant will be present by Zoom. And if you can't be present, I hope you will join by Zoom as well. If you have never used Zoom before, you don't need to have an app on your iPhone or on your iPad. You can just go to the website and click on join a meeting and put in these numbers, 391-921-0795. You can rewind this to get those numbers. And then put in this passcode when it asks for it, 339744. There were many people at church last night. I think there were six of us. And I was a watcher, not a doer, trying to set up the uh, system with the TV monitors and the microphone system so that you people watching by Zoom or in person on TV monitors uh, can have a good quality uh, understanding of what's going on uh, with our mission exploration team. And I think the bishop will enjoy participating and hearing your reactions to the report. That's the most important. Well, now to something a little lighter. In 1870, on this day, 151 years ago, the donkey was popularized as the symbol for the Democratic Party. You might think I'm really reaching. Well, I sort of am, but it's kind of interesting. The donkey had been as associated with Democrats ever since Andrew Jackson, who was called Andrew Jackass by his opponents, but he liked it because he thought that the donkey was a stubborn animal and it was he was stubborn about his concern for the common man. He was known as the president of the common man. And uh, he was complaining always about aristocrats and he thought a donkey was the opposite of aristocratic. So anyway, uh, the donkey was used in 1870 in Harper's Weekly by this cartoonist named Thomas Nast. Well, interestingly, four years later, he popularized the rep Republican symbol of the elephant. Isn't that amazing? Who would have that kind of influence in today's popular culture? Can't do a cartoon on TikTok. He chose the elephant because soldiers in the Civil War talked about their battle uh, combat experience as seeing the elephant. That's how they referred to it. And, and Nast and Republicans thought that the symbol referred to successful battles. So that's where that came from. And Santa Claus uh, was also a symbol, an idea that was brought about by Thomas Nast as well. He took the idea from Germany and popularized it as we know it today in the many images that we have seen since Thomas Nast brought it to the United States. Don't you feel fulfilled? <laughs> Here, here's a, a, a hymn that I think might a, be, we, be appropriate for this. In Christ there is no East or West. We could say in Christ there is no red or blue. In Christ there is no East or West, in him no South or North, but one fellowship of love throughout the whole wide earth. I hope you enjoy today. God bless you.